Welcome to Empowered Echoes 8. Embark on a profound journey of self-discovery as we delve into these timeless treasures, extracting 20 valuable life lessons that will resonate with your soul. Our unique interpretations will ignite your curiosity, broaden your horizons, and empower you to navigate life's challenges with newfound clarity and purpose. Clouds come floating into my life, no longer to carry rain or usher storm, but to add color to my sunset sky. Rabindranath Tagore Lesson number 20 Recollect that even without any downpours or tempests, life can in any case be loaded up with dynamic quality and variety. Lesson number 19 Embrace the startling amazements that life brings, similarly as mists add unconventionality to the sky. Lesson number 18 Permit yourself to be conveyed by the progression of life, giving up on its normal musicality. Lesson number 17 Praise variety and distinction, as each cloud has its remarkable shape and structure. Lesson number 16. Develop a feeling of cunningness and miracle for your general surroundings, motivated by the excellence of the sky. Lesson number 15. Track down the balance between light and haziness, as the exchange makes an entrancing nightfall. Lesson number 14. Search out snapshots of quietness and thought, similarly as mists welcome reflection. Lesson number 13. Track down comfort and harmony in the excellence of nature, similar to the tranquility of a nightfall sky. Lesson number 12. Embrace change as a chance for individual change, as mists constantly reshape themselves. Lesson number 11. Carry your novel tones to the world, very much like mists carry shades to the sky. Lesson number 10. Consider snags to be open doors for development, as tempests can prompt shocking dusks. Lesson number 9. Perceive the transient idea of feelings, as mists go through the sky. Lesson number 8. Permit yourself to be conveyed by the breezes of life, confiding in the excursion. Lesson number 7. Underline the significance of the current second, as mists just exist the at this point. Lesson number 6. Adjust to various conditions, similarly, as mists conform to various weather conditions. Lesson number 5. Look for delight and inspiration even in the midst of testing times, similar to a lively dusk sky. Lesson number 4. Relinquish the past and permit new encounters to paint your life. Lesson number 3. Value the extraordinary force of time as mists develop and shape the nightfall. Lesson number 2. Track down excellence in surprising spots as mists carry tone to the sky. Lesson number 1. Embrace the steadily changing nature of life, very much like the floating mists. Do what is right, not what is easy nor what is popular. Roy T. Bennett. Lesson number 20. Be a good example for others by reliably picking what is correct, regardless of whether it is difficult or well-known. Lesson number 19. Recall that making the wisest decision adds to self-awareness and sense of pride. Lesson number 18. Motivate others through your activities by reliably making the wisest decision. Lesson number 17. Look for direction from your qualities and standards to explore moral predicaments. Lesson number 16. Comprehend that the ideal decision might require exertion and distress, yet it is worth the effort. Lesson number 15. Esteem validness over similarity, embracing your distinction and making the wisest decision. Lesson number 14. Pay attention to your gut feelings and pay attention to your soul when confronted with decisions. Lesson number 13. Perceive that genuine person is uncovered when we pick the correct way, in spite of the difficulties. Lesson number 12. Stand firm for equity, in any event, when it is disliked or disagreeable. Lesson number 11. Practice sympathy and empathy while deciding, taking into account the prosperity of others. Lesson number 10. Recall that notoriety is transitory, however the effect of making the right decision endures. Lesson number 9. Be directed by standards as opposed to looking for guaranteed satisfaction. Lesson number 8. Comprehend that making the right decision might require penance and steadiness. Lesson number 7. Look for internal strength and boldness to make the right decision, even notwithstanding resistance. Lesson number 6. Try not to capitulate to pure tension and remain consistent with your convictions. Lesson number 5. Embrace the obligation of pursuing tough choices for everyone's benefit. Lesson number 4. Try not to think twice about honesty for fame or acknowledgement. Lesson number 3. Focus on doing what is moral and only, no matter what the accommodation. Lesson number 2. 
Go with choices in light of moral trustworthiness as opposed to following the easiest course of action. Lesson number one. Stand firm in your qualities and standards, in any event, while it's difficult. The truth is, unless you let go, unless you forgive yourself, unless you forgive the situation, unless you realize that the situation is over, you cannot move forward. Steve Mirabile. Lesson number 20. Choose to free yourself from the shackles of the past and embrace the journey towards a brighter future. Lesson number 19. Allow forgiveness to be a catalyst for personal liberation and emotional well-being. Lesson number 18. Focus on the lessons learned from the situation rather than dwelling on the pain. Lesson number 17. Trust that by forgiving you create space for healing and personal empowerment. Lesson number 16. Recognize that forgiveness is an act of self-care and self-love. Lesson number 15. Letting go of grudges and resentments opens space for positivity and new beginnings. Lesson number 14. Embrace the opportunity for personal growth and transformation that forgiveness brings. Lesson number 13. Understand that forgiveness does not mean forgetting, but rather choosing to release the emotional attachment. Lesson number 12. Practice self-compassion as you navigate the process of forgiveness and moving forward. Lesson number 11. Cultivate a mindset of acceptance and learn from the experiences that shaped you. Lesson number 10. Embrace the freedom that comes with releasing yourself from the chains of the past. Lesson number 9. Accept that the situation has come to an end and focus on the possibilities of the future. Lesson number 8. Realize that dwelling on the past keeps you stuck in a perpetual cycle of pain. Lesson number 7. Understand that forgiving the situation allows you to detach from its negative influence. Lesson number 6. Recognize that forgiveness is a process that begins with forgiving yourself. Lesson number 5. Embrace the truth that forgiveness is a necessary part of moving forward. Lesson number 4. Acknowledge that holding on to resentment and anger only hinders your own progress. Lesson number 3. Understand that forgiveness is a powerful tool for freeing yourself from emotional baggage. Lesson number 2. Practice self-forgiveness as a crucial step towards personal growth and healing. Lesson number 1. Release the burden of the past by letting go and embracing the present. If you want to be happy, do not dwell in the past, do not worry about the future, focus on living fully in the present. Roy T. Bennett Lesson number 20. Embrace the endowment of presence, for it is where genuine satisfaction dwells. Lesson number 19. Discover a sense of reconciliation in the straightforwardness of living completely in the present, liberated from second thoughts and nerves. Lesson number 18. Shift your concentration from what you need to what you have in the present, developing happiness. Lesson number 17. Get some margin to stop, inhale, and value the current second's excellence and quietness. Lesson number 16. Perceive that joy is tracked down in the current experience, not in that frame of mind of future objectives. Lesson number 15. Relinquish stress by confiding in your capacity to deal with whatever what's to come holds. Lesson number 14. Sustain your connections by being completely present and drawn in with individuals in your day-to-day -day existence. Lesson number 13. Be aware of the present time and place to enjoy the excursion instead of hurrying towards the objective. Lesson number 12. Look for balance between anticipating the future and completely submerging yourself in the present. Lesson number 11. Value the current second as a gift and a chance for development and self-revelation. Lesson number 10. Relinquish assumptions and completely take part in the current experience without judgment. Lesson number 9. Track down bliss in the straightforward joys that encompass you right now. Lesson number 8. Develop attention to the present to encounter the extravagance of life completely. Lesson number 7. Center around the present as it is the main second inside your control. Lesson number 6. Embrace the transitory idea of time and take full advantage of each and every valuable second. Lesson number 5. Practice appreciation for what you have now, as opposed to yearning for what you had or what you want. Lesson number 4. Track down happiness by valuing the magnificence and endowments of the current second. Lesson number 3. Discharge tension and vulnerability about the future by developing care in the present. Lesson number 2. Relinquish second thoughts and what uncertainties from the past to make space for happiness in the present. Lesson number 1. 
Embrace the force of living right now for genuine bliss. Sometimes our light goes out but is blown again into instant flame by an encounter with another human being. Albert Schweitzer Lesson number 20 Keep in mind the force of a certified association with reignite your internal fire and move you forward. Lesson number 19 Practice appreciation for the experiences that have reignited your fire and show proactive kindness to other people. Lesson number 18 Comment on the novel characteristics and qualities of every person, for they have the ability to light change. Lesson number 17. Develop a strong and supporting climate where individuals can have a solid sense of reassurance to share their light. Lesson number 16. Perceive that each experience can possibly bring a flash of motivation or trust. Lesson number 15. Be aware of the effect your presence can have on another person's excursion. Lesson number 14. Share your own light and encounters to move and inspire others. Lesson number 13. Embrace the possibility that we are interconnected creatures who have the ability to reignite each other's lights. Lesson number 12. Practice undivided attention and veritable comprehension to help other people rediscover their inward flashes. Lesson number 11. Comprehend that our light can vacillate on occasion, yet it very well may be reignited through valid associations. Lesson number 10. Search out inspiring and enabling connections that support the thriving of your inward light. Lesson number 9. Appreciate the snapshots of association that help us to remember our common mankind. Lesson number 8. Offer graciousness and backing to everyone around you, as your activities can be the impetus for their re-established light. Lesson number 7. Value the magnificence of shared encounters and the capacity to gain and develop from them. Lesson number 6. Be available to the groundbreaking impact of positive experiences with others. Lesson number 5. Develop significant connections that cultivate self-improvement, motivation, and common help. Lesson number 4. Perceive that human associations can possibly light our spirits and resurrect us. Lesson number 3. Embrace the force of sympathy and empathy to motivate and elevate people around you. Lesson number 2. Comprehend that communications with others can reignite our energy, reason, and inspiration. Lesson number one. Recognize the significant effect human associations can have on reviving our internal light. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of quotes. Remember, quotes are not just words on a page. They are powerful tools that can shape our thoughts and actions. Use them wisely. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends.